students, myself Pratna Sharma and you are watching Biology Lectures for Class 10. In the uh, chapter is Life Process and the topic is Respiration. I have already uploaded the videos for nutrition you can see in the description. Let's start the chapter. Respiration. What do you mean by respiration? Respiration as you all said that it is breathing. Breathing means Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Just as the uh, Swami Baba Ramdev is doing pranayam. Breathing, breathe out. Breathing, breathe out. No. Here it differs. It matters. Respiration involves both breathing plus oxidation of food to release energy. This is the main difference. What do we mean by breathing? That is exchange of gases. Exchange of gases means inhaling of oxygen and exhaling of carbon dioxide. Intake of oxygen and expelling out of carbon dioxide. It can consider under breathing. What do we mean by respiration? Respiration consists of the both process. It involves breathing as well as the oxygen which we inhale that gets mixed with our food. Mixing of oxygen with food that is oxidation of food. Whenever the oxidation of food takes place, it results in the releasing a lots of amount of energy. And that energy is utilized in doing various activities. The activities which we daily perform in our daily routine, that need energy. From where that energy comes, obviously we said that energy comes through the food. But how? How? How the energy comes from the food? Just by eating the food we can get energy? No. When we inhale oxygen and it gets mixed with the food, then food breaks down and lots of amount of energy is released which we utilize in doing our daily activities. So, what is respiration? Breathing, you know, inhaling of oxygen and exhaling of carbon dioxide. That is known as breathing. The one continuous cycle, inhale of oxygen and exhaling, expelling out of carbon dioxide, that makes one breath. And the biochemical oxidation of nutrients in the presence of enzyme. This is known as respiration. Now we will discuss it. Biochemical oxidation of nutrients. Nutrients we can say here food. Oxidation means addition of oxygen to the food. Biochemical. Bio means in the presence of enzyme. And chemical means various reactions are going on during this process. So, biochemical oxidation of nutrients in the presence of enzyme, that is known as respiration. What is the main uh, reaction involved here? Food, the organic matter, plus oxygen. Food is getting mixed with oxygen, oxidation of food. They give rise to carbon dioxide, water and lots of energy. This is the main reaction which involves in respiration. <clears throat> what is the respiratory substrate? What do we mean by respiratory substrate? The organic matter which undergoes breakdown, oxidative breakdown. The organic matter which undergoes oxidative breakdown that is known as respiratory substrate. For example, glucose. Glucose in the food made up of carbohydrate and carbohydrate. The glucose is the example of carbohydrate. So respiratory substrate are food and glucose you can say that. Okay. Now, cellular respiration. The respiration taking place inside the human body is known as cellular respiration. Why? Because each and every cell 
undergoes the process of respiration. Each and every cell does the respiration. That is why it is known as cellular respiration. The respiration taking place inside the cell. That is why it is known as cellular respiration. It is very essential for life. Why it is essential for life? Because during respiration, a lots of amount of energy is released. And that energy is utilized to perform various activity which make us alive, which keep us alive. So, respiration is very essential. So, students, different organisms perform the respiration in different ways. Some organisms require oxygen to break down the glucose while some organisms do not require oxygen for the breakdown of glucose. So, sometimes oxygen is present for the respiration, it is essential for the respiration and sometimes some organisms do not require oxygen to perform the respiration. So, so depend upon the presence and absence of oxygen, respiration is of two types. That is aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration as the name suggests, the respiration which takes place in the presence of oxygen. And anaerobic respiration is the type of respiration which takes place in the absence of oxygen. In the bath process, the first step is very common, that is, breakdown of glucose. Glucose is food. The component of food that is glucose. Glucose is six carbon atom molecules. That is made up of six carbon atoms. C six H twelve O six. The breakdown of glucose into the three carbon atom molecules that is pyruvate. And that is three carbon atom molecule. And this process is known as glycolysis. And it always take place in the cytoplasm of the cell. The first step in respiration, whether it is aerobic or anaerobic, is same is common. That is glycolysis. As the name suggests, see glycolysis. This is not a breakdown. And glyco means gl uh, glucose. The breakdown of glucose take place. Glucose is six carbon atom molecule, which break down to form the three carbon atom molecule, which is known as pyruvate. And this process, the process of glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm. This is very important as it being asked many times in your MCQ's question. Where, what is the site of glycolysis? This is cytoplasm. The site of glycolysis is cytoplasm. <coughs> where glucose breaks down into pyruvate. Now, the fate of the pyruvate. Whether it requires oxygen to break down or it does not require oxygen to break down, that decides whether respiration is aerobic or anaerobic. After glycolysis, pyruvate is formed, which is three carbon molecule made up of three carbon. Now, when the pyruvate undergoes oxidation, means in the presence of oxygen, pyruvate converts into carbon dioxide, water, and energy. Energy is in the form of ATP molecules. Then the process is known as aerobic respiration. When a large amount of energy is produced during the breakdown of glucose or during the breakdown of food, oxidation of food in the presence of oxygen. The type of respiration is known as aerobic respiration. And when the little amount of energy is produced either in the absence of oxygen or in the lack of oxygen. Little small amount of energy is produced that is known as anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration takes place either in the absence of oxygen or very little amount of oxygen. Uh, the glucose is break down into the simpler form to release a small amount of energy. That process is known as anaerobic respiration. Depending upon the product formed, anaerobic respiration is of two types. Number one, lactic fermentation. And number two, al it, uh, alcoholic fermentation. That is alcoholic fermentation. Lactic fermentation, it takes place in the muscles 
of human brain. Whenever we do exercise, vigorous exercise, we are going on, keeping continuously. We are doing exercise. Then lack of oxygen take place in our cells, and uh, due to the lack of oxygen, our muscle cells produce lactic acid. That produces lactic acid. When glucose is converted into pyruvate, and then pyruvate is converted into lactic acid. Where in our muscle cells, lactic acid and plus energy. Very little amount of energy. We uh, mainly two ATP molecules are released. That type of respiration is known as lactic fermentation, and it takes place in our muscle cell. Uh, whenever this lactic acid gets accumulated, gets accumulated in our muscle cell, then we get muscle cramp. Or we are fit, we are getting fatigue, and we get muscle cramp. So why muscle cramps are for, uh, produced? Because of this accumulation, the position of lactic acid, which is being produced. Due to the uh, anaerobic respiration, lack of oxygen. Whenever in our muscle cell oxygen is reduced, whenever we do exercise, vigorous exercise, the amount of oxygen is getting reduced. In the lack of oxygen, our muscle cell produces lactic acid in a small amount of energy, and accumulation of this lactic acid produces muscle cramps in our body. Now, next is alcoholic fermentation in a yeast yeast cell. Yeast cell is the fungus absence of oxygen. Whenever the respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen, completely absence of oxygen, in the example is yeast cell, ethanol is formed. Ethanol, carbon dioxide and little amount of energy is formed. That is known as alcoholic fermentation. So respiration is of two types, aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration when the lots of amount of energy is produced during the breakdown of glucose in the presence of oxygen that is known as aerobic respiration. And here the products are carbon dioxide, water and 38 ATP molecules. Why? When the respiration takes place in the lack of oxygen or in the absence of oxygen, then that respiration is known as anaerobic respiration. Depending upon the product, it is of two types. If our first is the lactic fermentation, which takes place inside a muscle cell. Whenever we do exercise and the lack of oxygen takes place in our muscle cell, then our muscle cell produces lactic acid and very small amount of energy. This lactic acid, if gets accumulated, going on accumulated in our muscle cell, then it produces muscle cramps. Now, other type of uh, anaerobic respiration is alcoholic fermentation, which takes place inside the yeast cell. Yeast cell undergo anaerobic respiration, completely absence of oxygen. The respiration which takes place in the absence of oxygen and very little amount of energy is uh, released, and the products are ethanol and carbon dioxide. That type of respiration is known as alcoholic fermentation, anaerobic respiration. Uh, now, this I have written this ATP. What do you mean by this ATP? ATP means the full form of ATP is adenosine triphosphate. Adenosine triphosphate molecules. These are known as energy currency of our cell. These are known as energy currency of our cell. Whenever we are lacking in energy, then these and energy currency break down to release energy during our fast time. Whenever we lack in energy, then these ATP molecules may break down to release energy. These are energy currency of our cell. So please like, subscribe, and share the video if you are getting. If you are having some knowledge, then you are getting, you are understood, then uh, share these videos. Thank you.